Welcome me everyone to activate eSIM in iPhone 15 Plus. If you have not set up the iPhone yet, head over to the setup mobile service screen and then skip 20 seconds into the video. If you have already set up the iPhone, you can see the home screen, the lock screen, then let's start by opening up the settings. And inside of the settings, I want you to make sure that under Wi-Fi, you are connected to a Wi-Fi network. I also want you to make sure Bluetooth has been turned on. Once you have done that, I want you to locate where you see either mobile service or cellular service. Tap on what you see, and then at the top, you'll see Setup Mobile or Setup Cellular Service. Let's tap on this. Now, if you did not set up your iPhone, or if you did, we're going to see the exact same screen. The first option is transfer from nearby iPhone. This will transfer your eSIM in your old iPhone and put it into your new iPhone 15 Plus. Or it can even transfer your physical SIM card in your old iPhone and convert it into eSIM for your new iPhone. So let's try the transfer. So we're going to tap on transfer and your old iPhone should show this screen, transfer phone number. If you don't see this screen, then on the old iPhone, we're going to go into the settings and in the settings under Wi-Fi, make sure Wi-Fi is on and under Bluetooth, make sure Bluetooth is on. Then we're going to head out of this screen. We're going to go back into transfer from and the transfer phone number should show up. You may need to update your software if this is still not working. Then we're going to tap on continue. And once we tap on continue, we need to enter in our verification code. For you, your code will be different. So enter in the code you see. And if your SIM card supports the transfer, you should see add phone number. There'll be an option to add. And then the transfer, converting your physical SIM or getting your eSIM from your old iPhone to your new iPhone will be complete. If your SIM card is not supported, then we have to scan a QR code to activate our eSIM. So if I go out, in order to activate the QR code and get it scanned, you can see here, we have an option to use QR code. Let's tap use QR code. And now it wants us to scan the QR code. When you activate eSIM, you should get a QR code sent from your carrier. This will either be in your email or they will give you a physical piece of card with the QR code. Whatever you see, use your iPhone's camera to scan the QR code. And once it's scanned, if it is a valid QR code, it will give you the option to add the phone number and then you'll be able to add. If you don't have a QR code, you will need to call up your carrier and you will need to ask them to get you the QR code so you can scan your eSIM. So if you need to transfer your physical SIM into eSIM, call up the carrier. And if you don't have a QR code, then you will need to call the carrier as well. If you only have one device, this is your only iPhone. Then if we go back into use QR code, you can save the QR code into your photos and then tap open photos and then select the QR code from the photos app if it's saved to your iPhone and you can't use the camera to scan. Once the eSIM is activated, we can manage our mobile settings. So first of all, mobile or cellular data, we can enable or disable. When mobile data is on, personal hotspot should work. If hotspot isn't working, you will need to call your carrier and ask them to enable that for you. We can also see the carrier name here. In mobile data options, we can turn on or off 5G. This is located in the data area of settings. 
And if you want to have dual eSIM, then you will see here, add eSIM and just follow the early instructions from the video and then you'll be able to add a second eSIM. You can have up to two eSIMs in your iPhone or one physical SIM if you're not from the US and one eSIM. With that being said, if you would like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.